This article will explain how to use the workday function combined with the if function to calculate how many workdays have elapsed from one day to another day. I don't know about you, but our IT department at work has a service level agreement SLA turnaround time of eight days. That is eight working days, so we cannot really chase them for any updates until that time has elapsed. So how can we quickly work out with Excel how long it has been since we log the call and if the incident is still within or outside of the agreed SLA? So we could try to use the usual today function which is useful for calculating intervals between a specified date and the current date. Let's take a look at an example calculating how many days it has been since we logged that it call. Today's date is August 4th, 2015. We logged and it called on the 27th July 2015. So if we use the formula below, it will today be 3. Our date the call was logged is contained in cell B3. This would result in 9 days. That is all well and good, but if we need to only be concerned with days, it would be working. In this case we are specifying Saturday and Sunday are non-working days. We need to add a little bit more to our formula to take into account the non-working days, so they are disregarded in the calculation. So back to our it call we logged. We know that the threshold is date available days. We can then get Excel to display if the date difference from when the call was logged to the current date is over 8 this threshold. If it is then it is out of SLA and if it is under the 8 working days are equal to 8 working days it is within SLA. Let's go ahead and build our formula starting with an if function. Equal if B3 less than equal WORKDAY today, 8 out of SLA within SLA. The logic of the formula is if the date in cell B3 is less than or equal to today's date, by 8 workdays not Saturday or Sunday, then display out of SLA. If this logic is false then display within SLA this formula gives us a result of 7. So we now know if the IT department can be contacted because they are outside of the their agreed SLA for turning around my IT query. This is a really useful formula for many uses including project tracking, updates and milestones.